As England's women prepare for the second of their November internationals, we caught up with Captain Sarah Hunter to talk leadership and the next phase for the women's game in England. So when I look back to real younger days, when you don't really have captains, you probably look and go, actually, I've always been someone that's kind of tried to lead by example. And I think that's the type of captain that I've sort of grown into and become known for. As I got older and later on in life, people started to, to make me captains of teams. And I, at first, I sort of was a bit unsure about it. I didn't actually see what they saw in me to, to be able to do that. But obviously, that, that then gave me confidence as I went through my, my career. And, and then to be the captain of your country is the absolute ultimate. Back in September, the RFU in England announced it would be awarding professional contracts to the nation's top women's players, making them the first full-time test team. There are certainly contracts that allow people to go full-time and leave their jobs. You can go, I no longer have to work and try and fit in what I'm doing alongside my training and playing, um, which I think is such a massive, massive step forward and it's really exciting. Hopefully, if I get off Simon offers me a contract, um, that I can still be a professional rugby player and I can, something that I never thought would ever happen. The other spectrum where you've got young girls at sort of 18, 19 coming through the pathway and going, like, that could be something I dream of, of doing and really inspiring that next generation. So I think it's significant across the board. The jumps of joy for the women in white. This really feels like the start of that new cycle for us, rather than thinking and having that external pressure on, well, you're above them, you, you have to win. We want to win each and every one of the, the Quilt and Water Internationals, there's no doubt about that, but it's actually about us possibly learning about ourselves, where we're at now, um, some new faces into the squad. And we know that each three team will, will pose a very different threat and their challenges, and we'll respect each and every one of them and make sure we, we earn that right to, to hopefully get the performances and the, the results that we want.